Kill streak already. Man, you're lucky. You got more kill streaks than me. Then keep up, little brother, if you want to reach my score. Little? We're twins, you stupid genius! It's true. But I'm two and a half minutes older than you. I knew you was going to say that. Well, it's true. Little brother. Screw you! Screw you. You know what? I'm going out to get some fresh air. Away from you! Fine. Go ahead. I don't need your whiny ass. I ain't gonna miss you. Good! You can have fun with the house by yourself. Cause you'll be alone all day. So have fun with that. Fine! Go have fun outside! I guess I will! Hmm. Jerome acts like a child sometimes. Let's see what's on TV. Hmm, nacho fries. Nope, not today, Charlie. Seen this episode. Seen this video. Not today, Burger Shot. Nope. Seen it. I'll see this episode next time. Nope. Nah. -uh. Seen it. Next. Nothing. 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 Ah! There ain't nothing good to watch. Ah. All alone in this big empty house with no one to hang out with. Christine and Jessica are at the mall as usual. Claude and Ralph are on a three day trip with the Squid Sisters and they won't be back till Sunday. Joe's at work. Rocket's at a turf war. All my friends are busy today. Ah! I'm so bored! And lonely! If I don't find a decent activity with someone, I'M GONNA LOSE MY FRICKIN' MIND! Hmm... I wonder who that is. I think it's time I find out. Mysterious friend. I don't have all day. I. <laughs> oh, hi, Rudy. Good to see you. And it's good to see you too. So, what you doing? Well, I got a message from somebody saying to meet me at the park. So I decided to stop by and meet him. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody sent to me a long time no see. Like I'm friends with that person. Do you know who that person is? Because I have no clue. Well, of course I do. You're looking at her. <laughs> Wait, you? That's right. It was me. 
long time no see. I did you get my number? Lori gave me your number. Right. Of course she did. But why was you being mysterious at the time? Oh, I wanted to surprise you. And it looks like I caught your reaction. Yeah, and you did a pretty good job at it. Thank you. Don't mention it. So what's the reason you wanted to see me here? Isn't it obvious? I came here to hang out with you. Oh, really? Yeah, and the reason why is we barely see each other and I want us to know each other more. And plus, I have no one to hang out with. I feel you, Rudy. I'm facing the same problem as you are. Really? Yeah. So, you want to hang out with me? Of course I do. I think it's time we need to know each other a little more. Yay! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much! <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, buddy. Since we're hanging out, what do you want to do first? Hmm. I haven't decided yet. Oof. I must be hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Okay, great. Let's go get something to eat. Where do you want to go? I think I know just the place. Well, it seems that Rudy has made a new friend. How about I pull a little trick on those guys? <laughs> Let's go to Taco Bell. I hear that Nacho Fries is back for a limited time once again. Ooh, yummy! I just love their Nacho Fries. They're the best. How do they make it? Beats me. Taco Bell's full of surprises. I'm gonna order the $5 cravings deal along with the nacho fries. Mmm, now that sounds delicious. Guess I'll have to order that too. Okay, great. Oh, man, I'm starving. That's what I get for skipping breakfast. Don't worry, BJ. I have some appetizers to calm down that ground stomach of yours. We squids can't get enough of it. Chocolate bars! <laughs> so, which one do you want? With or without nuts? Rudy, put it away. Why? Because it's not safe to pull out chocolate in public. Especially when Phil's around. Uh, who's Phil? Rudy, put the chocolate away! But why? Why would he have a problem with chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Uh, e e yes. I got with and without nuts. Chocolate? Look what you did. Chocolate! 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 BJ, he's freaking me out! Chocolate! Run! Whoa, um, that was unexpected. So, they're heading for the restaurant, huh? Hmm... I've got it! This'll be the best trick yet! I better get to the convenience store to pick up some sodas. this every time whoa calm down jake darling don't get hostile now remember what happened last time you do of course i haven't and that is something i'm not gonna forget 
I'm just sick and tired of that guy pouring us over the line when it's time to eat. I know, Jake. I know, darling. Why do you even exist, badass? You're putting up the goddamn line! Calm down, Van Van. We'll get our food in no time. We just have to be patient. Ethel, he's been holding up the line for 18 minutes. I can't wait that long! <sighs> oh, come on! I'm starving! I haven't eaten all day and Big Smoke is taking forever! Yeah! Move it, fat ass! We're starving here! Man, I have never seen someone this greedy before. I couldn't agree more, Faria. Mm. I am this close to complaining to the manager about this asshole eating up all the food in this restaurant. Same here. This is too much. And definitely too far. Alright, calm down, boys. No need to lose our heads just yet. I agree with Emily. Can this day get any worse? So this is what DJ meant about Big Smoke holding up the line. Now I've seen everything. <sighs> you have no idea, my friend. A number six with extra dip. A number seven. Two number forty. <laughs> that was close. I think we lost him when we took a shortcut around the gas station. That was really crazy back there. He really freaked me out. It's like he really wanted my chocolate bars. You think? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Never pull out your chocolate in public, especially when that chocolate craze squid is around. How long have you known that guy? Too long. And let me tell you something about Phil. He has a crazy obsession with chocolate. Wow, really? Yes. And when he sees or even hears the word chocolate, he goes extremely crazy and shouts out the word chocolate. I'm serious. The dude is absolutely nuts. There is no stopping this guy when it comes to chocolate. It all started when me and Joe were trying to get rid of these chocolate bars by selling them. But unfortunately, our first customer was Phil. There was no avoiding him. Next, I took Emily Spider and Agents Blue and Orange to get some sweets. And guess who showed up out of nowhere? Phil. My crazy neighbor showed up and he saw the chocolate bars in our hands. And so we had to cut and run. We wasn't gonna let Phil take our chocolate bars from us. Hell no. I've told my friends about Phil, and now they know. Oh my god! And the next day, I took my friends Rocket, Ocean, and the Candies to the mall. We were just hanging out at the food court, until this stand was also serving out chocolate bars, and so we bought them. As soon as we were about to leave out, Phil was there, and he saw the chocolate bars in our hands. And so we had to run once again. There's no escaping this guy! Please tell me that's it. I'm afraid not. The following months passed, and I thought it was over. But it turns out I was wrong. A few months later, it was National Chocolate Day at Inkopolis. And Bill was right in front of the crowd, wanting more and more chocolate. And so we had to cut and run! But unfortunately, Phil was chasing me, Claude's, Ralph, and the Squid Sisters. And it was all Kelly's fault. All she had to do was cover up the damn cake so Phil won't see it. But suddenly she panicked. And then Phil turned around and looked at us. And we finally caught his attention. So we had to make a run for it. I didn't come this far to let Phil take our Super Bowl chocolate cake and eat it for himself. So listen carefully, Rudy. Okay. Rule number one, never pull out your chocolate in front of this guy, ever. He'll run you down and snatch it out of your hands and eat it for himself. So if you see Phil and if you have chocolate in your hands, don't ask questions, just cut and run. I repeat, cut and run. You get me? Yes, I get you. Good. 
I'm really sorry for getting you involved in this mess. I really am. <sighs> Don't worry about it. What's done is done. And we came here to hang out, isn't that right? Yep, we're here to have a great time. All right, let's go in and have ourselves a big <laughs> It's like I'm experiencing deja vu all over again. I agree. I had enough with you. Every time you come to a restaurant, you hold up the line, eating up all the food and leaving us to starve. You selfish fat pig! Yeah, beat him, Van Van! Give him pain! Yeah, give him pain! Teach that bastard a lesson. Jake? Are you seeing this? Believe me or not, I am. Notice anything familiar? Yep, it's Buffalo Wings all over again. Can you do something, BJ? We are so hungry! I can't, Iga. I promised Christy and my sister that I wouldn't get involved in situations like this. The least I can do is call the cops. Ah, uh, no need for that. I have an idea. Really? Yep. I banned him for 24 hours, so you guys won't hear from him again. Good riddance! Now we won't have to deal with fat ass anymore. Okay, Van Van, you can get up now. Oh, right. Whew. Man, I thought that guy would never leave. Yeah. Tell me about it. Dang, Olivia, you're a life saver. You're welcome, guys. It's the least I can do. <sighs> can we eat now? I want to try the nacho fries. Oh, shut up, Chris, before I ban you, too. <laughs> Look, we're just going to wait until the line clears up, all right? Okay, PJ. Well, I'm glad that's over. Phew. Thank God for that. Something. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, somebody's birthday. Yeah, it's my, uh, my cousin's birthday today, and I want to give him a huge surprise party. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I got some balloons that you can buy for your party. It costs twelve ninety nine. Uh, that's okay. I've got balloons back at home. Hmm. Maybe a single six-pack because... Hey, look, uh, can we discuss this another time? I'm already behind schedule. Of course! Let me stop you. Forgive me, I can be quite of a chatterbox sometimes. But that's also part of my job as a convenience store clerk. No, I did it! You made it up! Shut up, Sanjay! Just keep down the money! Well, it looks like you have your hands full. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, your total will be $44.99. Wait, what? $44.99? Exactly. The Pepsi six pack is six dollars, but the helium tech is very expensive. <sighs> Fine, I'll take it. Thank you, come again. See you next time.
Well, that went well. Okay, I've got the sodas, and I got the gas, and I think I'm ready. All I have to do now is head over to that local restaurant, and BJ and Rudy won't even know what hit them. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Hmm, <clears throat> not on my watch. I'm going to make sure your prank fails. You won't prank my friends when I'm around. I'm so full. I feel like I'm about to burst. Me too. I do love to pig it out. Me too. I really enjoy their nacho fries. So do I. It's like french fries, but with the Mexican spices. Yeah, I know. That's why they call them nacho fries. Yep. So, tell me about yourself. Me? That's right. We need to know each other better. I like to know you better. Okay. Well, for starters, I am a Turf War fighter. And let me tell you something about me. When I'm in Turf War battles, I'm highly driven and extremely competitive. I'm always determined to win. Well, most of the time. Most of the time I win. Sometimes I lose. <laughs> Cook. Especially when I'm cooking with my lovely shipmate Christine. Cooking runs through our veins. We love making decent meals together. So good that my friends just can't get enough of my delectable yummy goodness. They always want more out of me. Especially the Squid Sisters. They just can't get enough of my yummy pancakes. Oh wow! I would like to see you cook sometime. I'd like to try out your meals. And you will. Next time. I also like hanging out with my friends. They're the best friends that I ever had. And I'm really close to them. We're like a family. And I love going out places. Especially with my friends. I love going to the mall, looking at things, buying awesome stuff, ordering takeouts, going to the movies, hanging out at Inkopolis Plaza, and I do enjoy a few sports. Turf Force is one of them. But I also like to do wrestling matches with my sparring partner and friend Mr. Madness. Sometimes I like to pay my sister a visit when she misses me, or better yet, spend some quality time together. But sometimes she can be a bit moody when I don't see her often, because I'm off taking care of business or doing my own thing. And sometimes I lose track. Okay, I deserve that one. But at the end, we forgive and forget. BJ? Yes? Promise me that you will come by and see me more often next time, okay? I mean it bro. I want to spend some time with you. And don't forget to call me when you have time. I will. I promise. Good. And by the way, mom and dad just called. They want us to come over and pay them a visit. Jerome too. We haven't seen them for a long time, and I think we should spend some time with them as well. We are family by the way. Okay. We'll pay them a visit. You better. Because if you don't, I'll bury you alive. No need to threaten me, sis. We'll be there. That's all I need to hear. Yeah, 
yeah, whatever. Let's watch some TV. Okay. But my most favorite place that I love to go is called Sinjin. The most beautiful romantic place to be. I take Christine there all the time. And we never get tired of this beautiful place in Inkopolis. It is heaven. Usually we spend our time there looking at the sights, the trees, the waterfall, the hills, and making out. My favorite thing to do in this beautiful paradise. Neato. And I'm also the head of the neighborhood watch, meaning it is my job to look out and protect my fellow friends and neighbors of this town. The mayor has promoted me of this responsibility about a year ago. Oh cool. You are so lucky to be having this responsibility. I know. And it pays well. Maybe I should move to Rock Ford too. Maybe you should. After all, it is a quiet place to live. The six of us live on Richard Drive, myself included. And if you're thinking about buying a house over there, I'm afraid your luck just ran out. All the houses in Richard Drive have been taken. No, 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 no. I meant an apartment build, you silly. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> you know, Alex and Lori live in an apartment building in Rockford too. Yeah, I just saw their apartment complex a few weeks ago. And it was amazing. I know. So, when's your birthday? Well, my birthday is October 8th. And so is Jerome's. Really? My birthday's on October 8th, too! No kidding? Well, ain't that coincidence? I guess we both have something in common. Yep. You and I share the same birthday. Oh, and Jerome, too. Don't even get me started with him. What happens between you and your brother? Let's just say my brother acts like a whiny squid sometimes. He left me a while back to get some fresh air and left me alone with no one to hang out with. Oh my. Well, look on the bright side. You're hanging out with me, remember? Yep. You are absolutely right. So, how are you these past couple days? Oh, I'm doing fine so far. I see you changed your outfit. Yeah, I did. I figured it was time for a change. I can see that. You look really sharp in that new outfit. Why, thank you, Rudy. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> yes, BJ and Rudy are still here. This will be the best joke yet. I think we've enjoyed a pleasant lunch. Anyway, let's finish our drinks and do something else. All right, Brian. Stomach! Oh! My stomach hurts too! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten all that hot sauce! Let's take a quick bathroom break first, and then go back to our drinks, alright? Agreed! Oh, this is going to be great! <sighs> well, that went well. Yep. Let's finish up on our drinks and we'll do something else. You got it. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, same goes for me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wait, th this can't be right. Why is it not taking effect when they drank that soda? I'm supposed to be hearing high-pitched voices. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Jack, you could be so unpredictable. <laughs> I don't get it! 
It was supposed to give them the high-pitched voices. What went wrong? <sighs> I guess it's time for plan B, the shroom prank. It's one of my greatest jokes, after all, and Rudy won't be able to resist. Although I can't say the same for BJ. He's very self-aware. But who cares? As long as I get those two, they shouldn't have a problem. I won't fail like last time. That's the last time I'm buying helium from that convenience store. His stuff doesn't even work. <sighs> Man, I could use a drink. Ooh, soda. I am thirsty. Oh man, that felt good. Uh, wait, what the- What happened to my voice? Oh no, I drank my helium soda instead, stupid! Wait, which means somebody sabotaged my joke! When I find out who did this, they're gonna be really sorry for ruining my pranks! Hee 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 hee! Like I said, so unpredictable. I will get BJ and Rudy, even if it kills me! No one's gonna stop me this time! Oh, we'll see about that, Jack. It's time for you to pay for what you did to me 10 months ago. We, you got me fired from my job. I'm going to make sure your prank fails, no matter what. Well, I better get the shrooms from my place and probably fix my voice while I'm at it. So, what do you want to do next, Rudy? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, I know! How about we head for the mall? There's an arcade that I'd like to try. Okay, let's go to the arcade. Great! Alright. Let's take my car. The mall is pretty far to- Alright, my voice is back to normal, and I got my shrooms, so let's get those squids. And this time, I won't fail. Oh, it's going to fail alright, by me. Is he still behind us? Yep, he's still following us! Inside now! We'll lose him in here! I think we lost him. Again. Oh, I hope that's last of him. I'm sorry, BJ. If it wasn't for me, then he wouldn't be chasing us. Don't worry about it. The only thing that we can do is avoid him at all costs. I hope you're right. Now let's head for the arcade. Right.
Well, we're here. Now let's play some games. Alright. So, what do you want to do first? Hmm. Let me think. Yes, that's it. A little closer. Come on. Ow! What hit me? Are you okay, Rudy? Yeah, I will be. Hello! Hey, mini mushroom. I think I should eat this. Yeah. that! Hey! Why'd you do that for? You think I want to hang out with you mini size for the rest of the day? Oh, why not? I think I'll look cute. And I like being mini sized. Especially when people fool me like a ragdoll or even a baby. Rudy, grow up. It's not gonna happen. But! No buts! It's going in the trash! And you shouldn't be eating those things either. For all we know, someone may be playing a prank on us. Oh, come on! Oh, you're no fun. Forget about the mushroom. Now let's go play some games. <clears throat> okay. Oh man, I gotta get that shroom back before somebody else gets it. Oh, I spoke too soon. Mm. Oh! Ew! Damn it, Homer! How could you eat that? It was in the trash can. You don't know where it came from. I ate it. It's over. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 Someone who ate the damn thing. You can win games with Uh, I don't know what to do! It seems that every time, every time I'm trying to pull a joke on someone, someone or something is ruining my plans. I tried the soda thing, that didn't work. I tried the shroom thing, that didn't work. And BJ eventually catched on. And to make things even worse, a bystander that eats my shroom. Somehow I feel like I'm being watched. Someone may be sabotaging my plans, and I'm gonna find out who it is. <laughs> huh, what are those two talking about? For getting me this teddy bear. It's so cute! <laughs> You're welcome, Rudy. After all, it cost me half my tickets. So BJ got Rudy a teddy bear. Well, I could have done that. So, what do you want to do next? How about a movie? Alright. What's playing? Mm. Oh! I know what's playing! What? Dr. Hess vs. G Man Ring of Justice! <gasps> Shut the hell up! It's out already? Uh, yes! Woohoo! It's finally out! So, they're going to the movies, huh? And that's exactly where I'm gonna strike. 
I wanted to see that movie when I was watching the trailers. I was obsessed. Well, today's our chance. Let's go watch the movie together. I agree. Chocolate! Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. Well, don't take too long, otherwise the boss is gonna have a crow. <laughs> that was my chance. <laughs> Wait, isn't this going too far? <sighs> what do you think, comrade? Remember great comrade Stalin's order, not one step backwards. Yeah, but this is knocking someone out. No hesitation, comrade. Do not take one step backward. But <sighs> home of the Russia, comrade. Do not turn your back on her. Oh shit, you're right. For Mother Russia, let's do it. Victory or death. <laughs> this is gonna be the best joke yet. I gotta get up to that concession stand, pose as this clerk, and sneak my shroom into BJ and Rudy's popcorn. <laughs> Jack, you are a genius. Jack, when will you learn? I think it's time I go complain to the manager right after I awaken our friend in the bathroom first. You go in there for 15 minutes. <laughs> really? Uh, I haven't noticed. Will you do me a favor and fill those boxes of popcorn for those customers? Uh, yeah, you got it. Man, when it comes to Fella and Chocolate, there's no stopping him. The only thing you can do is run. This is all your fault, Rudy. Oh, I thought you were over it. I was. Until he showed up. Again! I told you I was sorry. And I really am. Well, let's hope we don't run into that bastard again. Cause this is getting old. Oh goody, here they come. They're here. Time to set up my little prank. Dude, what's taking so long? Our customer is waiting for the popcorn. Uh, um, uh, of course, uh, right away. Here you go, sir. Uh, enjoy the movie. Thank you. It's about time. I can't wait to see this movie. It's gonna be awesome! Hello, and welcome to the cinema! How can I help you? Yes, I would like two tickets to see Dr. Hacks vs. G-Man, Reign of Justice. One ticket for her, and the other ticket for myself. 
Okay, and your total for two tickets is 2601. Keep the change. Oh, thank you. Here's your tickets, so enjoy your movie. All right, we got our tickets. Now let's go get some popcorn and soda. All righty then. At last, they're coming. Once I give them their popcorn and they start eating, they'll be transformed. Stop right there! All right, all right, what's going on in here? That's him! That's the guy who knocked me out and took my clothes! Are you sure? That's the one! Believe me, he did the same to me. When he knocked me out and took my pizzas and got me hard for my pizza job. What? Remember me, you good for nothing prankster? So you're the one who's sabotaging my pranks! That's right, it was me, and now you are going to jail! You're under arrest for assault and impersonating an employee. Step away from the concession stand! It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. FALL BACK! <laughs> Get back you imposter! Ha, <laughs> case closed. What the hell just happened? I have no idea. Don't worry about it guys, everything has been sorted out. Miguel? Long time no see. What are you doing here? And what just happened? Oh, let's just say that an apostle was posing as an employee and he wanted to prank the two of you. Oh my god, really? Yep, but luckily I managed to hoil his plan. Who was it? It was Jack Tropolis. Seriously? Him? That's the one. Gee, thanks man. You really saved us from being pranked. Don't mention it. Now let's go see that movie. I couldn't agree with you more, Miguel. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. was freaking sweet i like that when dr hacks and g-man were battling each other but at the end they've teamed up to fight the real bad guy that has been a thorn on their side and they kicked the villain's ass Woo! i'm going to sleep good tonight yeah i bet you will so what do you think of the movie bj hmm. to be honest after seeing that movie the ending was a bit cheesy but more or less that movie was badass. Yeah, I know it was badass. You know, I really had a great time hanging out with you. You've given me a good Friday and one hell of adventure. Oh, thank you, BJ. We should do this again sometime. I agree. I feel like I can completely trust you, Rudy. I feel the same as you do. <laughs> 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 Finally! I've been trying to cut you all day! Now that I've got you right where I want you! You are dead! Not a big surprise! Miguel? 
That's my name. Don't wear it out. Are you guys okay? Yeah, barely. Thanks for that. He saved us again. Ah, no problem. Did you kill him? Nope. I blooded him. The only day he was born is the hospital. So by the time he's there, he will forget everything that has happened here. So you guys won't hear from him for a while. Whew. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Miguel. I hate to ask, but could you do us a small favor? Sure, anything. Can you please give her a home? Weenie, please? Sure, why not? Yay! Hop in, you two. Okay, where to? Take us to Rudy's place first. Then you can drop me off at my place. Yes, sir. This is my place. It looks just like my sister's place. Oh, I knew I shouldn't drink all that cola. Uh, Rudy, if it's okay, I use your restroom. I think I had a little too much to drink at the cinema. Sure, go ahead. It's just down the hall. Cool, thanks. Had a great time with you. Yeah, same here. Take care, Rudy, and get a good night's sleep, alright? Alright, Brian. But wait, I still have those taco bars that we haven't touched yet. <laughs> oh, my chocolate bars are ruined. They're all smushed and melted. <laughs> Don't worry, Rudy. I got some extra chocolate bars from the cinema. Now we can eat them together. Thanks, BJ. You're welcome. Ah. Mmm. These are some good chocolate bars right here. Hmm. I'm not sure. These chocolate bars taste funny. But wait. Why that sneaky son of a- Oh my god, I'm tiny again! Yay! We're tiny together! Now's not the time, Rudy! <laughs> Jack? Oh, um... Uh, hey, Rudy. What's up? Well, actually, what's down for you? <laughs> so, this is what you're doing? And furthermore, how did you get inside my apartment? Isn't it obvious? You left a spare key under the mat. So, you managed to prank us after all. Oh, yes, I did. And I finally succeeded. Just in case my little popcorn scheme didn't work, I went to plan B. Plan B? Yep. I put the shrooms inside the chocolate. <laughs> you what? Why you shrinking up sex bastard? When I get back to my normal size, I'm gonna beat you into a pulp! Oh, I've gotta admit, even when you're like this, you're still really cute when you're mad. Screw you, Jack! You gotta get yours! And you will, my friend. Huh? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm with them. I just took a quick bathroom break, and luckily for them, I have the antidote mushroom for them. Uh, uh, you, you, you wouldn't dare! I would. Give him pain, BJ. It will be my pleasure! Oh, so! Dad! Uh, <laughs> it's 
just a prank? No hard feelings? Ah! I hope you learned your lesson, Blue Jacka Boy. <sighs> oh my god. Kill me, please. Come to town, come to save the Princess Zelda. Gonna put her away now. The children don't play, but they will when Link saves the day. My mic on the lid. You really screwed up that time. I know, comrade. I'll never pull any tricks or anything of that matter again. That's what I was waiting to hear. You're a great boy, Jack. Lenin would be proud. Yeah, he would. Thanks, Communist Jack. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, comrade. No hard feelings, right? I couldn't get it out. <laughs> oh, 
come on! I said I wouldn't do it again! Ha <laughs> ha!